Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. So coming up with another interesting video where we are going to learn 100 IT or computer acronyms which we come across. So we are going to see the full form and I already covered some videos on network security and cloud, the relevant certifications which I did and there was a good response on network fundamentals and then I come up with cybersecurity uh, terms and uh, I'm planning to come up with one video on cloud and cybersecurity fundamentals. So let's see a video on 100 common IT or computer acronyms. My name is Sheikh Rashid Javid. I'm Microsoft certified trainer, certified EC Council instructor and cybercrime intervention officer. I work as a corporate trainer on cybersecurity. So first is AI. This is artificial intelligence. So you give human intelligence to computers. That's what we call AI in short form. <clears throat> we have APIPA, automatic private IP address. So this is the address which you get when you try to connect DHCP server and you are not able to get a proper address. It could be in the form of 169.254.something.something. Something. .something. Then you got API, which is application programming interface. It is like a gateway for an application to communicate with other applications. AUTHN, this is authentication, where we try to validate the user ID and password for someone. Authorization, AUTHZ, this is how we represent authorize, authorization. So once someone gets authenticated, what he's authorized to do, what he can do. BCC in our emails, you might have seen that that's a blind carbon copy where we don't want others to see this, you know, where we represent them in BCC or we have CCC all, CC also. BSOR is your blue screen of death. This is the screen you see if there's any problem on your computer and you see an error message. BPS, this is where we measure speed in bits per second. So how many bits you're receiving in one second. If it's a capital B, that is bytes per second. So eight bits is one byte and four bits is one nibble. CC is a carbon copy. When you want to see a carbon, send a carbon copy to someone in your email, that's where you represent that in CC. That's our carbon copy. CA is the certificate authority, which is going to sign your certificate when you are trying to communicate with HTTPS, you know, SSL, T TLS. So this is a certificate which is signed by the certificate authority. So certificate authority is where, you know, browser is going to trust. Capacha, right? So completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. So this is a test where you know, it's going to, when you try to log in, it's going to ask you to type some characters to make it sure that you are not a robot, but you're a human. CSV is comma separated value. So this is a kind of a file which is generated with you know, MS Excel, that file format. CD is your compact disk. So this is where you store data in your CD. That's your compact disk. Computer, we have already seen that the full form is commonly operated machine, particularly used for trade technology education and research. DVD, where you store more data than CD is digital video or digital versatile disk. DL is deep learning. It's a part of machine learning where you give algorithms. So it's going to understand, learn from the data and make some decisions. EOL is end of life systems where there's no support from the vendor. EULA, this is your end user license agreement. This is what you need to sign when you download some software. FTP is your file transfer protocol, right? So this is where you connect to the server to download some files because you don't want to go through the public, but you will have some server. If you want a secure version, you have secure FTP or FTP secure. GB is your gigabit, gigabytes, right? It's capital B. If it's small B, it's up bits, but this is gigabytes, right? Mega, Giga, uh, Mega, Giga, then you have uh, Exati, Rapid, and all those. GDPR, this is your general data protection regulations. This is where you don't want your data to come, to go out of some specific region, right? So started you know, in Germany and all the Europe has this. So other countries also have some reg similar regulation. GPRS in your mobile phones, you might have seen that is general packet radio service. GPS is your global positioning system where it's going to locate you when you try to book a cab or you know something where you're trying to detect your location through GPS. GSM, this is your global system for mobile communication. We have GSM, we have CDMA, where you have a SIM card, you insert that. Those are our GSM phones. 
GUI is a graphical user interface. Most of the Windows operating system where you click on some graphics instead of you know CLI, where you write some commands to interact with the operating system. This is your HTML hypertext markup language. This is where you store those HTML documents. And when you try to uh, you know, get those documents from the server, which would be like HTML files. This is the protocol which you use, HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. It's not secure. It works on port 80. That's where we go for HTTPS, which is secure, which is port 443. HDD is our hard disk drive, right? Where we store data in our system, in our laptops. And we also have SSD, right? Solid state drive. HCI is your human computer interface. This is how, when you interact with your computers, like you know, most of the keyboards, mouses, you can find them in the device driver as human computer interface. This is your HDMI cable, right? High definition multimedia interface, which, which is going to take all the data, you know, voice, video, everything in one cable. IDS is your intrusion detection system. So this is used to detect some intrusions. You know, when there's an intrusion, it's going to sell, send an alert to admin instead of IPS, which is going to take care by itself, you know, trying to stop it. IIS is your internet information server. This is a Windows server where you add a role on the server, you make it Windows server. And then you also have Linux, you know, Apache server. IMEI, you see it on your mobile phones, right? International Mobile Equipment, uh, equipment Identity on your, you know, it's a unique identity on your mobile phone. You dial, you know, uh, uh, star hash, 06 hash to get your IMEI number. This is very important. When you want to report the loss of your phone, you need to have this number. Maybe they need it to track this. You will have one or two IMEI number. IMSI is your International Mobile Subscriber Identity, right? So this is the identity for your subscriber in mobile phone sims and all that. IPing is your internet protocol next generation. This is our IPv6, which we call IPNG. IPsec is your internet protocol security. So this is the one which uh, uh, you know is going to secure those packets. IP is your internet protocol at the network layer on OSM model, where you know routers understand this IP protocol. You have two versions: IPv4, 32-bit, and IPv6 is a 128-bit. ISP is your internet service provider, which gives you internet connection. ICS is your internet connection sharing, where you're trying to share your internet connection with different devices, right? ICT is your information and communication technology. Most of the times you try to protect the infrastructure, you know, or you try to, you know, if it comes to info warfare, that's where you attack ICT of other countries or protect your ICT. IVR is your interact voice response. Most of the times when we connect to uh, customer care, that's where, you know, we interact with IVR, which is an automated voice response or IVRS, automated voice response system. JPEG, this is your joint photographic expert group. This is the image format, which you see most of the times. KVM is your keyboard, video, and mouse, where, you know, they are controlled together by single switch. That's KVM switch. LAMP, where you have Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, when they go together, you call it a LAMP or LAMP server. LTE, you see most of the times LTE on your mobile phones, you know, on the signal, 4G LTE, 5G LTE, that's your long-term evolution, long-term evolution. LUN is your logical unit number. So if you would have seen on the cloud, when you try to add a disk, data disk, you give this number, like how many disks you are connecting. So one could be zero, one, two, three, four, to differentiate them. Laser is your light amplification by stimulated emission operations, where you try to send it through fiber optics, or you can send LED light emitting diode, depending on if it's a single mode or multi mode. LCD is your screens. Most of the times we see these screens, those are liquid crystal display. Mac is your media access control. That's why you know where you get a Mac address on your computer. So get Mac or IP config slash all physical address, where IP is a logical address. MFA is your multi-factor uh, multi authentication, where you try to uh, Ha, use multiple factors, something you know, something you have, something you are to protect from password attacks. ML is your machine learning, right? So where you try to give a lot of data, so it's going to understand that with machine learning, artificial intelligence, those are our smart systems. Nowadays we see, you know, virtual reality and all that. Master board record, this is also known as sector zero. This is where you store the operating system files or important files related to operating system on your hard disk. MMS is your multimedia message service on your mobile phones. You have SMS, MMS, where you send multimedia. MCT is Microsoft Certified Trainer, someone who is authorized to teach Microsoft courses. Or MCP is Microsoft Certified Professional, someone who is certified by Microsoft. 
MOBO is your motherboard, which is a man circuit board where there are a lot of components connected. NOS is your network operating system. So most of the operating systems nowadays are NOS, but earlier they were not like that. So they support networks. NIC is your NIC card. It was not compulsory to have an internet. That's the reason they come up with like NIC, NIC card, separate card. But nowadays you have them inbuilt in your laptops and uh, PCs. ND is your non-disclosure agreement, which we sign so that we are not going to uh, reveal some sensitive information from a company to others, to competitors. OEM is your original equipment manufacturer, the one who is going to design the equipment, the original equipment manufacturer. ODB, which we receive most of the times in our phone is a one-time password, so you can use it only once. Or OCR, optical character recognition, you know, it's going to read those OCR when you try to try, write those exams, multiple choice questions, you feel the OCR sheet is going to, there'll be an OCR reader to read that data. OLED is your organic light emitting diode. So most of the screens nowadays, you know, those curve OLED, those are like organic light emitting diode. On your phones, you have those curve screens. OTA, those OTA cables, that is over the air. OTA means over the air. OSD, on-screen display, the display, you know, which we, you see on the screen. PDF is your portable document format. PBD is your PowerPoint presentation. Ping, when we try to test connectivity, is packet internet grofer where you send ICMP packet to check the connectivity. PUBG, which you play most of, the, most of the times, is players unknown battlegrounds. PVR is your personal video recorder, you know, PVR systems, so personal video recorder. RAID is your redundant array of independent disks where you have multiple disks for redundancy, right? RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID, say, you know, 10, RAID 50. RAM is your random access memory, so if you have a good RAM, that's where, you know, your computer is going to be very faster. ROM is your read-only memory, right? You, know, you can only read that, you know, in your phones and all that, and you, you might see that. RC is the root cause analysis where you do the root cause analysis. If there's any problem, like, you know, you check the root, root cause analysis. SIM is your subscriber identification module. SEO, search engine optimization. This is going to rank your page. And when you try to search for something based on the keywords, it's going to rank your website in the top 10. SMS, which we send is a short message service. Smart is a kind of test which you run on your computer is a self-monitoring analysis and reporting technology. SIEM is your security information and event management where you try to understand those logs, Curadar, IBM, Splunk, Alien Vault, uh, logarithm. URL is your uniform resource locator. So like, you know, HTTPS colon slash slash www.google.com. So you are going to say to your browser that I'm going to use HTTPS protocol. Please get me the index page of Google. That's your URL, uniform resource locator. USB, which we use is a universal serial bus. UAC is a user account control. When you try to install any software, your computer is going to tell, do you allow or not? That's your UAC control. UEFI, which we use for secure booting compared to earlier, you know, we used to have a normal boot. This is unified extensible firmware interface. VLE is your virtual learning environment. VOIP, like Skype and all, is a voice over internet protocol with session initiation, initiation protocol at the back end. VR is your virtual reality where you try to interact with virtual things. It looks like reality. VDI, most of the times, you know, you get on cloud is a virtual desktop infrastructure. VPN, which you try to set up a secure tunnel is your virtual private network. Virus, where you get infected is a vital information resource under siege. It is under someone's control. Worm, this is not a virus worm, but it's a different worm. Write once, read many. So you write it once and you can read multiple Times, you know, that CD ROM which we have. WWW is our World Wide Web. So this is actually a name of your, you know, computer on which you host a site. It's the name of a server. Now you cannot give it a different name. So you want to give a common name. So it looks like, you know, nice because www.google.com, yahoo.com, facebook.com. But WWW is actually a server which is hosting that domain or those servers which are hosting that domain. What do you see is what do you get on your uh, printers, you, you might see that, you know, what you see is what you print or what you see, what you get. This is a wide equivalent privacy on your uh, Wi-Fi. You try to type this pin. So this is known as wide equivalent privacy because privacy was equivalent to the wired connection at that time. It was very strong at that time. Then we came up with WPA, WPA2, WPA3. This is Wi-Fi protected access. Wi-Fi means wireless fidelity. 2FA is our two-factor authentication, you know, where we use two factors. Like in Google, when you try to log in, you type password and it's also going to send a code to your phone, right? 
So these are all the terms, some basic terms, which we have seen related to computers and IT. So it is, you might have the different meaning for these terms with respect to other things, but we are seeing them with respect to computer and IT. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video. So I will come up with some interesting video. Thank you very much. I'll see you in some other video.